If the DMV intends to designate you as a negligent operator and suspend your license, you have to be given notice. And when you get notice, you have 10 days to contact the DMV to request a hearing to challenge the designation. You have to act in that 10 days or you will lose by default. But as long as you request a hearing, then that will usually postpone any suspension pending the outcome of the hearing. Now, a negligent operator hearing will take place at one of the driver safety offices across the state of California. An employee of the DMV, a hearing officer, will be assigned to preside over the case and ultimately make the decision. You have a right to be present. You have the right to be represented by an attorney. Now, you don't have to have an attorney, but if you do have one, it will increase your likelihood of success significantly. Unfortunately, even if you're indigent, the DMV will not appoint a lawyer for you, so you have to get a private attorney on your own. And at the negligent operator hearing, you want to show either that the accidents uh, were not your fault or that there's some mitigating circumstances. So, for example, maybe you drive a lot more than the typical driver in California, so it's understandable that you might accumulate more points. Or maybe you're making efforts to address the underlying problem, such as uh, going to a, a driver safety program. Now, especially with a good attorney, it's often possible to win negligent operator hearings. And here at Shouse Law Group, we've had a lot of success in prevailing at these hearings. If you're successful, then the DMV may set aside the suspension altogether. They may put you on probation rather than suspending your license and or they may give you a restricted license that at least allows you to drive to and from work.